Nigeria is capturing only a fraction of its digital economic potential and will need to make strategic investments to develop a dynamic, transformative digital economy. This was part of the highlights by experts at an induction program by the Institute of Data Processing Management in, of Nigeria. Details here. With improvement in digital connectivity, digital skills, digital financial services and other core areas of digital development, Nigeria can fully unleash new economic opportunities, create jobs and transform people's lives. So as these experts gather to chart a way forward for the data processing management in Nigeria, some national issues take center stage. As reactions on the National Identity Number Registration and the Bank Verification Number resound, just what role does data processing have on the nation's economy? Data become a valuable asset for Nigeria as a whole, both to individual Nigerian citizens and to the government at the center. So that is our responsibility. So it's very significant. So what we intend to do is to see how these things are all coming together using a single window so that there can be opportunity around data as a new oil that we talk about worldwide. There is no harmonization. This thing is supposed to be a data bank whereby every other person can go to and obtain information. Uh, you can agree with me that we have road safety who has taken biometrics of people if you are coming to uh, uh, take lands and driving lances. Okay, bank has taken biometrics, okay. The question you ask, where are all these biometrics going to? Why are we still doing the same thing? Why don't we harmonize them so that we have a one data bank whereby you can easily send in a, a, an information and you get the information back? Because this is how it is done elsewhere. In terms of current challenges plaguing the country, can data processing help curb the rate of insecurity and indeed the food supply chain in Nigeria? Most of these weapons come across the borders of Nigeria, most of which even come across the Atlantic. So how can data cross the Atlantic and go to Felgore Forest or Sambisa Forest far away in Meduguri without tracking? Simply because there is no data as to who import these, these weapons, how is it passed over, which vehicle convey this data, and where the vehicle is destined to go to. You cannot be able to track that. So even if you arrest those citizens, at the end of the day, you don't have the record that they are actually imprisoned because they are there, they were captured, and maybe they passed through some corrupt windows and they are out. We have a good data. Uh, security can be tackled. Nowhere in the world that you tackle security by carrying gun and you be pursuing people. It's as good as training your soldier to go and die. You are all aware that an American was seized the other time. They were able to trace to know where he is, and they're in America. So, but here we are talking of somebody who is in Nigeria who do not know how to fight his security. You cannot fight his security with your guns and ammunition. Intelligence, and then you also need data. The Institute of Data Process and Management of Nigeria believes that for the country to survive the various security challenges, there is a need to improve data integrity in the available database by ensuring regular updates. Justin Akadoye. Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.